Hey guys, and thanks for tuning in to Trade Chat. My name is Panzer, and today I'm going to be talking about BlizzCon and World of Warcraft patch 4.3. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you do, remember to rate it thumbs up. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is that the special performer at this year's BlizzCon closing ceremony is the Foo Fighters, and I am so excited. You have no idea. It's like one of my favorite bands of all time. I'm so ridiculously excited to see them. Um, it's like I was already recommending that people got the live stream of BlizzCon before, but after hearing that they're playing, like, you have to do it. It's so worth it. Like, you get, like, the best views on everything at the convention, and then on top of that, you get to see the Foo Fighters, like, totally worth it and you get the in-game Mercablo pet so I would I would definitely recommend getting the stream of BlizzCon although if you do not I will have an amplitude of footage for you last year I went to BlizzCon and I wasn't able to provide you guys with very much footage because I had very limited equipment the only camera I had was like a Sony Cybershot digital camera which was not made for video at all it only held like 30 minutes of video I didn't have a like laptop or Wi-Fi or anything to get the data off of my camera so over the course of two days I was given 30 minutes of video and what are you supposed to do at that point it kind of sucks but this year I have my fancy schmancy camera which I don't know how long the battery lasts because I always have it plugged in when I'm using it but I definitely have that camera and that holds like 24 hours of video then I also have my Sony bloggy my old Sony Cybershot and my phone takes video too so this year we should be totally set I should have a good I would say five or six videos at least covering BlizzCon. I'm very, very excited about it. Um, also at BlizzCon, a lot of people have been asking if there's a way they can meet me, and I'm, I stand out. Like, if you see me at BlizzCon, please say hi to me. Like, I have a whole album of people I took pictures with last year at BlizzCon, and I'd like to have a whole album this year, too. So please don't be shy. Please stop. Say hi. Take a picture. All that good stuff. I might have some fun stuff to give away. Um, I've got some extra wristbands that I was selling for my random Panzer. Uh, channel and I have some extra of those so I might be giving those away um, we'll see we'll see but please say hi to me and also I'm going to be at the party at the Annabelle Hotel on the 20th it starts at 5 o'clock and it's hosted by Wow Insider so I will be there so I hope to see you there too so those are a few ways you can meet me and let's talk more about World of Warcraft patch 4.3 on that note aside from the new five mans and the new raids and transmogrification in 4.3 we'll also see some really minor changes that kind of are weird like in patch 4.3 in North American realms you'll no longer be able to use special characters in your character or guild name although if you already have the characters you'll be unaffected um, I don't know if the reason for this change is that people just got out of control with like every single one of the letters in their name was like a crazy letter. I don't know what it was. Um, but again, if you already have a special character in your name, it's unaffected. You just won't be able to use it anymore. So I guess if you wanted a character with a funny slash O or something like that, make it now because you won't be able to make it in a couple months. In 4.3, we'll also see some nerfs to high-level leveling. Um, in Outland and Northern, many of the group quests have been retuned so that they're easily done solo. Also, many of the dungeon quests in Outland and Northern, rather than having to pick them up in various questing locations, they've actually moved the pickup location for those quests to just inside of the dungeon so that when you're queuing up, it's a lot easier to get and complete those quests. And also, in Northern, level 71 to 80, they have nerfed the amount of experience that you need to level by 33%. Um, so my Warlock, who's sitting at level 68, is not going to be leveled until 4.3 because it'll be faster and easier in Northrend is quite a grind. Northrend is, is not a very fun place to level in my opinion. The only place I really like is like Shalazar Basin. Everything else is like... With the introduction of transmogrification in patch 4.3, the reforging vendors that will actually be removed from the game and the transmogrification vendors will be capable of reforging your gear. So when 4.3 comes and you go to reforge, you'll do it at the transmogrification vendor, not the reforger, because he won't be there anymore. <laughs> Probably the most interesting thing for me that's being added in patch 4.3 is the introduction of the Looking for Raid Finder tool. And what's really cool about this is that it's, there'll be 25 man raids and they'll be composed of two tanks, six healers, and the rest DPS. And the, the finder will attempt to like make the groups eclectic so that you're not like sharing gear with every single person. And there'll be like a good mix of melee and ranged. Uh, they also said that they would attempt to group you with people on your own server, but not at the cost of higher queue times. 
Loot in the Looking for Raid system will be a slightly lower eye level than loot in other raids. Um, although if you do get a tier piece, the, the set bonus will work with the higher eye level pieces. Um, and the way that loot works in the actual raid is it is on a need before greed system. So hopefully hopefully there won't be like a high instance of ninja errs. <laughs> but it is literally going to be the exact same way that it is in dungeons. In the looking for raid system, there will be someone who is queued up as the raid leader and they can mark things, they can promote people to also be leads. They're the ones who are going to decide whether you're main tank or off tank or if you're going to heal the tanks or if you're going to heal the raid. Um, the raid leaders can decide to initiate a vote kick and then the rest of the raid can decide whether or not to kick someone, um, but it does have to be initiated by all of the raid leaders first. Also what was interesting to me about the looking for raid finder is that if you leave you will get deserter but it's only for looking for raid. Obviously to queue up for the looking for raid finder you will need to be level 85 and I'm sure that there will be like an eye level requirement. I think when they first introduced this it's only going to be for the dragon soul raid and then as it gets more popular they'll add more raids to the system. The last thing I wanted to talk about today before I go was that I will be coming out with episode 2 of the Diablo 3 beta series. My computer is just super slow. It takes about 10 times longer than the video is to render and part 2 is like a 13 minute video so I just haven't had like a solid like 2 hours where it's been like I'm not going to touch my computer for 2 hours. So I need to film the commentary and then just like let it render overnight and hopefully I'll have it up in the next couple days. But thank you all for being patient. Um, also episode 2 was recorded at the same time as episodes 1 so don't get like mad if you didn't see me using your hints and tips and stuff like that in episode 2 because I'm not a time traveler and I would have to be in order for those tips to be implemented. Um, that does bring me to today's question of the day and that is if you had one useful tip to give to someone who is brand new at playing World of Warcraft, what tip would it be and why? Leave your answer in the comments below or upload a video response. While you're thinking about that, check out today's screenshot of the day. And it looks like that's my cue, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.